Casimir force is a peculiar force that acts between small metallic objects placed very, very close to each other. And it's becoming a, of important technological interest because people are trying to make very small miniaturized electronic circuits and in particular switches that are metal plates that face each other. And so this force has the effect of making small switches actually stick together. But like is often the case when you look at the microscopic origin of the forces of nature, also the Casimir force has a very deep quantum mechanical origin. In fact, it is a macroscopic manifestation of what's known as the quantum fluctuations of the vacuum. Before I get into the quantum mechanics of it, it's interesting to give a classical sailing analogy of the Casimir force, which is not completely correct. There are people that debate whether the classical analogy really exists, but I'm not a sailor myself, so I cannot say very much about it. But I'll tell you what the story is behind this. In the mid 19th century, there was a book written by a um, sailing instructor who spoke about this mysterious force that makes ship stick together in a rough sea. So what happens is this. Imagine you take a ship and you moor it in the sea. And the sea is rough. So there's a lot of waves hitting the ship from the left and from the right. These waves could be high, could be low, could be very long wavelength, short wavelength. But on average, they will hit the ship equally from the left and from the right. So even though the ship might move left and right, on average it will stay centered. Now imagine you moor another ship next to the first one. Now in between the two ships, you can't just have any kind of waves. Normally the sea would have to be calm in between the two ships or you could have waves provided that the wavelength of the waves matches the distance between the two ships. So you could have a wave that has half a period between the two ships or an entire period or one and a half and so on, but not just any wave. So the net result is that there are more possible waves coming from outside the ships than from inside the ships. And so as a result of that, the ships might be pushed together and bang against each other. And um, there is a, an equivalent phenomenon taking place with electromagnetic waves treated quantum mechanically. So if instead of the ships you now take two metal plates and you place them facing each other, in between the two metal plates that are essentially mirrors, you cannot have just any wavelength of electromagnetic field. The electromagnetic field that quantum mechanics will allow you to have in between the two plates must have an integer multiple of the half wavelength of the electromagnetic field in between the two plates. Whereas from the outside, any wave could be allowed. And so the net result is that there is a force, which is called the Casimir force, that tends to push the two plates together. So this is a macroscopic manifestation of the quantization of the field between two reflective metal plates. The interesting thing about this force is that it's very strongly dependent on the distance. It's proportional to the area of the metal plates, but it's inversely proportional to the fourth power of the distance. So when you make some very small metal plates and you put them very close to each other, actually this force can be substantial. So this is bothering people who are trying to make what's called microelectromechanical switches. These are very small switches that are being used in microelectronic circuits, particularly at high frequency, where essentially what you're trying to do is to take some metal um, switch that you can pull up and down and it's facing some other metal plate. So ideally what you're trying to do is to pull the switch open or closed. 
But now in between this lever and the back plate, there is this Casimir force due to the quantization of the electromagnetic field between them. And so sometimes these switches actually stick together. So this fundamental quantum mechanical force is nowadays posing a limitation to how you can miniaturize very small switches.